Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, before we start this video, just to, to inform you that this video it might contain an adult language. And as you know, we don't speak adult language for, you know, in like, I mean, it's not the purpose, but the purpose is education. So this is an education video. However, the topic is kind of sensitive. So if you don't like to hear, uh, you know, certain words, then please don't listen. Uh, now, for sure, we don't speak bad. I mean, uh, uh, what we will read is dirty. It's not what we will say, just to make it clear. Now, all of us, we always, uh, you know, hear about the version of Islam, etc. And always I say to you that Muslims do not really love their God. Muslims are desperate, hungry people for certain things. You know, because Islam is a religion which is a religion of rules more than it is a religion of spirituality. Like, you know, you wake up in the morning, you have to pray, and if you don't pray, you miss the prayer, you are guilty. And uh, this God, he, you know, you have to pray in certain time, otherwise you miss the bus. And, uh, you know, you have to do things in certain way, otherwise you are a very bad person. Uh, in the same time, this religion speaks too much I mean, seriously, too much about morality. But Islam is the last religion ever can be a religion of morality. So today we are going to speak why Muslims are so desperate, those who want to do jihad. You know, we saw how Muslims, they are desperately, they want to join ISIS or Al-Qaeda or Mujahideen in Syria, whatever you call it, all this kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, deception. All of those, they are seeking one thing. They are seeking the following. I'm going to play for you a video and show you how a human being sometime can go stupid beyond your imagination. You know, like we look at animals down, right? And we say animals are less than us and they are not smart. Sometimes I have a strong feeling that animals are a lot smarter than a human being. You know, you cannot deceive a, an animal by promising him 72 versions. Like imagine you say to a rabbit, uh, if you commit suicide, I will give you 72 rabbit, female rabbit. That will not happen to him. You know, you can maybe uh, put in front of him 72 carrot, uh, that will work, but he have to see them. But something he never saw, and it's about 72 versions, it, like doesn't, doesn't really ring a bell for you that there is something wrong there? I mean, what kind of God does God he want to promise me? Women for sex. Women who I never met. Which means there's no relationship between us. Like, you know, it's not about the women I met somewhere. You know, let us say this God, he promised you that you will find a woman. She love you. No, no, no. It's a pure sex. Those women are design designated and designed just for one purpose is just to sleep with them so i will play this video for you and we will analyze the video and then i will i will give you some reference like you know uh, there's there's always a reference i speak about and you guys ask me one of you send me an e email in uh, facebook saying where is the reference like you know can i can i have it so this video is going to contain uh, some reference regarding this topic but before we do that let us let us watch this video which is made by a Muslim scholars in Islamic TV in the mosque. I don't agree with this guy because obviously he is not too much educated about his religion, even though he is supposed to be a scholar. But let us see what he will say and let us love together. <laughs> ولكل امرأة من أهل الدنيا دخلت الجنة سبعين حورية فترتيب نساء الجنة أربعة أول شيء امرأة الدنيا هذه رقم واحد معها سبعين حورية ثاني شيء الحورية معها سبعين وصيفة الثالث الوصيفة ثلاثة أنواع عفوا ثلاثة أنواع النساء في الجنة ثلاثة أنواع أزوج في الدنيا بزوجة فعندك واحدة زوجة زوجتك اللي في الدنيا ثم سبعين حورية معها حلالك 
ثم مع كل حورية سبعين وصيفة أصبح كم عندك من امرأة هذا قل واحد <تصفيق> طيب لو فرضنا عندك أربع زوجات مع كل واحدة أرب... سبعين حورية مع كل حورية سبعين وصيفة كم صار الجميع أعانكم الله <تصفيق> في ذلك اللقاء مدته سبعين سنة Okay, I will stop with this. Seventeen years. Look what he's saying here. You know, I'm not going to pay the whole. The rest. If you stay with your wife, you will continue with each one of the women who are supposed to be the first. It's seventy years. Seventy years. Each each woman you are having sex with, you will have sex with her for seventy. Years now, he said the numbers he is saying is not really accurate. The lowest reward in the Islamic heaven for a Muslim is 72 virgins. You know, like uh, some they say to you that Muslims they are desperately go to jihad to get uh, 72 virgins. Uh, that's not really true. The 72 is for the bad Muslim, and I will share that with you on the screen. But if you analyze what this guy he said to you, he was speaking about. That you will have those versions, and those versions. Every version can be seventy or more. 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 Every version معها سبعين وصيفة. Now what the purpose of these promises? First of all, there's no one in the world who has little brain, little brain, not big. He will believe in such a girl. Secondly, what the point of having sex for seventy years? Is that a is that a pleasure or this is a punishment? Seventy years. ثم مع كل حرية سبعين وصيفة أصبح كم عندك من؟ You will be having sex non-stop for seventy years. And this is supposed to be a reward. مع كل واحدة أرب سبعين حورية. Now he is calculating for them. Let us assume you marry four wives and every one woman, you know, will will get you etc. Versions and seventy servants sleep with it. So do you know? Can you count how many women you will get at the end? All of this is to seduce them to be believers. The whole point of this is just to convince you that you should believe in Islam. Don't you want to get this? Don't you want to get that? So you better be a believer, otherwise you will not get this. The way to get this is to be a believer. If you don't want to believe, no problem, but you will not. You will not be a believer, and then you will not receive the reward, which is uh, amazingly a huge number of women for sex. Now you will see more videos. Describing for you the look of those women, the size of their breast, the size of their, you know, excuse my language, their 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 butt, the size of their lips, the size of their vagina, the size. They go in a very clear details, and those details is just to seduce the Muslim man. about those women the whole idea is to make you to believe there is tons of hadith and I'm going to share with you some of them uh, so you can see with me let me I'm, I'm opening some of them uh, I, one of them just came to my mind One of the hadith says that in the heaven of Allah there is there is a market or bazaar and this bazaar I will share the screen with you so you guys can see with me and in this bazaar there is nothing to buy or to sell except Now, here you notice that the Muslim, they will say to you, do you see it says here Da'if? They will say to you, it says, brother, this is Da'if. 
uh, let me tell you something the if is mean it's good still don't make the Muslims fool you you can go right now and search for a video made by uh, uh, what his name uh, uh, brother 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 Muslims they call him Sheikh Hamza Sheikh Hamza all right he will explain to you uh, you can search for for that video and he will explain to you that the if hadith is a good hadith it's not, there's no problem with it so when a Muslim says to you this is a da'if hadith just to educate you let me get the video I play a little bit of of it so we can support what we say with real statement So Muslims cannot fool you no more with the statement of saying that you know there is a there is the if and there is a strong and so you know the, it, was, it was a collection by Ali Mazuroi's father Amin al Mazuroi and I like the collection so I translated it and, and to be trustworthy I all the hadiths that he put in I put in there and some of them were weak but there, there's there's an attack on weak hadiths in our time. We, we, a weak hadith is, is anywhere from a B minus to a D minus, right? A Hassan hadith is, is a B to an A minus. And then a Sahih hadith, I'm just using a language you can understand. An A minus is like a, 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 a Sahih hadith is from an A to an A plus to 100%. Mutawatir is 100%. Al Bukhari is like 98%, 99%. Muslim and Bukhari, 99%. Uh, Sahih Muslim, 97%. So, the the uh, a weak hadith is not thrown out. <laughs> Just like a professor doesn't throw out a paper that that gets a D minus. It didn't flunk. It passed. All right, that's enough. So when a Muslim says to you, "This hadith is da'if." Tell him to shut up. This hadith, it's pass. It does not mean it's not good. You see, they try to fool you by saying this is da'if. <laughs> da'if mean weak. What does that mean? It means it's still it's accepted. This is why it can't be thrown out. You know what they are saying to you? There is there is that there is certain hadith have many 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 reporters. So this is, must be very 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 strong because it is absolutely must be absolutely letter by letter to be correct. All right. And there's a hadith reported by maybe few of a few reporters, you know. So this is not rejected. This is still accepted, and it is still considered as the same as a correct hadith. So when a Muslim he tried to fool you, says to you, "This is not a good hadith because it's da'if." He is just playing you because he think, and he is sure yet you know nothing about Islam, and he can fool you. So if we go to the hadith here, you will see. Indeed, in the paradise there is a market which there is no buying or selling except for images of men and women now if you if you think with me about this issue you will notice something very weird in this promise i will make the text bigger so you, can, you guys can read it better there is a paradise and this paradise have a bazaar have a mall what what is inside this mall? There is buying and selling. First of all, I thought heaven is for free. No, 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 no. Allah is doing business in heaven. What is business? The business of Allah in the heaven that there is mall, and in this mall it's like a gallery of pictures. You enter this gallery, and those in this gallery have a big display of men and women do you see what it says with me here what is inside the the display there is a pictures of men and women images and then he say here something very important too he says that if a man he wish to enter he wish to have sex with any of those pictures he enter 
the image and he have sex with it but in, but he remember he just said that those pictures is for men and women and who is the one who would desire it's a man do you see it so the man he will desire pictures of men and women and desire in which way like what what he mean by desire exactly obviously this is about sex the desire here is desire of sex so uh, he will desire okay so whenever there is images of men and women you see it so whenever whenever a man desire an image he enters he enter it all right who is going to enter it is the man enter what enter images which is images of men and women men and women to do what with them to have sex with them what kind of desire desire of sex so the heaven of Islam even promote sexual desire man to man women to man not only man to women and as you see you know I'm not making things up this is in front of your eyes like you know uh, somebody might say to you it doesn't say that you can say whatever you want it's so clear it's so obvious and uh, uh, you wanna you wanna fool yourself this is your business so the images are exist in this heaven for one purpose is to be like a catalog for the Muslim man and when he get horny he enter into any image which has either a man or a woman or maybe to couple together so they can have uh, a, a group sex or they can uh, one uh, maybe it's a one man alone the man the Muslim man he like this man he enter the, the the image and he have sex with this man and each time you have sex as we heard the Sheikh in the video if you remember he said each time each meeting will take 70 years so if a man enter the, the image of a man they both they will have sex for 70 years on stop and then he, he said in the video and then when when the seventh year is, uh, is is up the second person in sex she will come to you says time is up it's my it's my turn now now why Islam concentrates so much in those perverted promises and madness uh, uh, you know like what what is really the purpose of of, uh, of all of this obviously it is one thing it's just to make you believe in this religion seduce you into this religion and make you crazy about it especially he knows that those Arab they are so desperate for white women this is why you see Muhammad he later he speak about uh, 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 how white those women in the heaven will be to the point you will see the bones of those women in different hadith Muhammad he said If you read with me here, please. You see the numbers. There is the numbers of Muslims they speak about is very confusing. About like what 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 really, what really the number we will get in the heaven. There is tons of hadith. They have different numbers because Muhammad is a liar. Each time he mentions something, he make it different. He cannot maintain his promises. This is why you see that the numbers doesn't match. For he is a scam so look what he said here uh, everyone will have two wives from the Huris who will be beautiful pure and transparent all right now this is all is to explain to you supposedly but it doesn't say that in the hadith let's make it clear in but the hadith says you will have two wives of the Huris and those Huris, you can see the marrows of their bones, of their legs. 
why he is making such a promise because those Arab they love white women and Muhammad he is working hard to seduce them with the white women this is why you will see when Muhammad he said when his God he says to, to him encourage the Mujahideen to go and fight huh? to fight the Kuffar Muhammad he told them let us attack the Romans so we can get the blondie girls let us attack the Roman so we can get the blondie girls so he know exactly what his people like those men they are so desperate to have sex with white women they don't like dark-skinned women so he is promising them not only they are white they are white to the point you can see through the marrow of their bones which is obviously very disgusting this is not beautiful at all because if you can see the marrow of their bones it's mean you can see the food in their belly your wife she ate your hamburger you can see it this is the only benefit you know who is the one who ate your hamburger but those promises you can tell it's extreme promises doesn't make sense it's very stupid but it's meant for a reason to seduce this Muslim man to believe in this religion he could not make them believe by miracles he have he have none he could not believe them by wisdom he is very stupid so let us make them believe by seducing them in a sexual way then we see in other hadith uh, Muhammad he promised that the one who do jihad for 40 nights alright the one who stationed for 40 nights for jihad will have a pillars of gold in paradise so he know that those Arab they love money money is very important with a green uh, like chandeliers or like let us say jewelries uh, and uh, like uh, you know uh, uh, expensive stones in the top and the top by the doom of rubies like what 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 this is about I I did jihad Allah will give me a column of gold I mean in where in heaven what what I will do with the gold there and what I will do with the rubies or maybe I can go and take them and exchange them for having sex with the images because as you remember there is a market of uh, uh, of images we can have sex with uh, I can go and have an image of a man and get in right so guys they will have fun there it will have 70,000 door hold on the story is just started getting more exciting now there is 70,000 doors Muhammad is stuck with the number 70 obviously and each door will be a wife from among the wide-eyed Huris so now now we see the number changed totally the number is a lot bigger the normal Abdul he will get 72 women but the Nord but the Mujahid who fight for Allah he will get a lot more look you will get unlimited number like if imagine because if for a, for every 40 days you are going to get 70 thousand wife version who you never met they are created just for sex imagine Allah Muhammad he said that Allah he spent 1,000 year to smooth the skin of each one of them look like Allah he he created them from a gladiator skin and then he spent his time uh, he never heard of Nivea you know so he spent 1,000 years to smooth the skin and yet the Muslim they say to you that if Allah wants something to happen he say B is going to be well if he can do that why he took him 1,000 years just to, to smooth the skin of those women and what kind of skin they have made it from concrete even concrete go and buy a machine from Home Depot you can make it smooth in five hours so you you here see how Muhammad is trying to seduce those men to die this is this is this is a trap if you go and fight for me at least for 40 days huh 40 days this is not for the one who die just for fighting which means he's still alive but if you die for sure the reward will be double a lot more and this is why those people they are so desperate to go and fight not because they love Allah then in the hadith Muhammad he said the following that the lowest reward of a person in the heaven is 72 
72 wives the lowest reward you see it this is why I said I don't agree with this guy when he said two wives and then you know because Muhammad he said the lowest reward is 72 women and then uh, he have the 80,000 boys here you see here the, the translation they're trying to make it boys servant but those are boys the Quran promise and promise boys who they are very 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 pretty not handsome and they are white too they are white like pearls because it's very important to be white the women are white the servants and the, the boys are white everything around you is white because Muhammad he hate black that's why you see Muhammad in different like we mentioned that before Muhammad he said if you see any any black animal kill him like they ask him what the difference between the black dog and the yellow dog he said the black dog is the devil so here you will see the promise is kind of different the lowest reward is 72 women for the bad Muslim the Muslim who is not praying just for believing just for saying Shahada say Shahada don't you want to get 72 version she's say Shahada and then you will get 80,000 servants now you tell me what what's 80,000 servant boys will do for me even if they are servant forget about sex why in the world I need 70,000 or 80,000 child in my house to serve me for what exactly they will make for me 80,000 sandwich it doesn't make sense so Muhammad is a person of exaggeration and exaggeration is a sign of his stupidity if it's not a clear evident of his stupidity now I always mentioned to you that Muhammad he said he promised or you know the Islamic books that uh, Allah he promised that a Muslim when he go to heaven he will get a penis which is endless and some of you said to me where we can find this reference and actually this is why I decided to make this video this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia so those who they are saying where they get from and this is why I'm looking you know it take me time to find uh, finding the reference is not a problem but finding official website that is can be the, the hard part because somebody might say to you I don't trust this uh, you know as you see here it says this is the office this is this is this is like the ministry of Islam in Saudi Arabia you can go to the end of the page all right and you can click at uh, at contact or actually from here you know we are here you can go to English but sadly you will not find this book in English you know